The finals is a free-to-play team-based FPS that pushes the limit of what you as a player can do. It's a wacky yet fun game that takes world building or frankly destruction to a whole new level developed by Embark Studios. The finals is in closed beta right now for PC on Steam and I wanted to share a little bit of my early experiences here with you because if you're looking for another FPS game this has potential. If you're interested in checking it out for yourself head on over to the game's socials or Embark's and you can apply to get in. Full transparency that's exactly what I did. This isn't a sponsored video of any kind just a guy that wanted to see what a new game was like so as we go along do me a favor if you enjoy the video, drop a like on it. I know this is drastically different than what we may be used to here on the channel, but if you enjoy it, your support would mean the world. And if you're new, consider subscribing. But let's talk about the finals. So for the core gameplay, the finals is a game that kind of tips the shooter genre on its side. You have plenty of elements of other games out there, like hero-based elements of what we'd probably be used to here on the channel of Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 abilities, or perhaps more accurately, other games like Valorant, Overwatch, and others. But mix that in with the run and gun pace that this community on the channel may be used to with Call of Duty, but then also the pristine graphics graphics and destruction you'd come to expect from franchises like Battlefield. That last one making a lot of sense when you realize that some of Embark used to work on prior Battlefield titles. But the core mode is an extraction-esque gameplay loop. Your team of three is competing with an additional other three teams, so four teams total, 12 players per match, to enter the arena, find and loot vaults with cash boxes, and take them to cash out stations. Now, sounds easy enough, right? Well, that's where things get dicey, because when you're extracting the cash box, that's all you have and all you can carry. Your team won't need to assist you, or if you're feeling lucky, you can make a mad dash and go at it solo, but you're vulnerable if you do so. Additionally, when you're depositing it to said cash out stations, it's going to take a bit of time, so everyone knows where you're at, and naturally, they're going to want to be coming for you because you can steal those cash outs from them, which makes for some incredibly tense situations, like the clip you'll be seeing right now, where last second I was able to snag a hefty deposit and secure a win for my team. And so, the team at the the end of the round with the most money naturally wins. So gameplay loop out of the way, what's the good and the bad? How's it stack up? I'm sure I'm going to miss a lot of things, so feel free to chime in either on the pros or cons list, but for now, here's what I've got. Let's start with the pros. Firstly, graphically, the game looks great, but that's me playing on an overkill rig with everything maxed out. Maybe it's something that doesn't translate as well to the everyday use PC, but it is something that graphically, I was pretty impressed here at this. And going alongside that, destruction was awesome. I thought that was really cool there basically is no limit to what you can destroy. Roofs of buildings, the skywalk connecting the two main structures in the high-rise buildings, staircases, walls, you name it, you could basically destroy everything, which is pretty cool. It can alter the gameplay loop and make no gameplay experience the same match over match. Additionally, there's lots of ways to play, lots of ways to get creative. With this game, you have a light, medium, and heavy setup, each of those offering their own specific weapons for each class, but what you can use across that is various different gadgets, things like a zip line night vision, explosive and gas mines, sonar grenades, incendiary grenades, a goo grenade, which goo is something that you can end up using as funny as it sounds to like wall off different areas and make it much harder for your enemies and opponents to end up say stopping a cash deposit or things like that. You have things like defibrillators, gas and frag grenades, a glitch trap, tracking darts, APS turrets, among again, all your other weapons and things that come along with that. So you have a lot of different ways to end up playing for your own type of play style, your own class, building that and customizing it to however you see fit, but again, you mix that in with destruction, all these different ways to traverse the map, it really makes it a chaotic but fun experience. But beyond just in-game ways to play and alter the battlefield, there's multiple different ways to literally play. There's quick match play, a tournament which is a knockout style where the winner of each match moves to a higher bracket of other winners, a practice range, and even a tutorial that goes along with it. There's additionally hints towards what we can see with the upcoming ranked modes as well, which will be pretty cool here in the future. Another thing that I would chalk up as a pro here is I love the dynamic weather sequences. I want to say that we have two maps in the beta here, but there's multiple levels of variability because you could have things like it's set on day or night cycles, rain or shine, foggy, and so on. So it's one of those simple things that just makes each little match a little bit more unique so it doesn't feel like you're playing the same map, the same gameplay loop over and over again. It's just one of those small things in variability that makes it a bit more unique. Additionally, I really like the random events that happen in game. There's things like a meteor shower, there's things like mega damage which does more so there's a lot of stuff here that can happen in game that alters how the gameplay itself is approached match over match as well sound design honestly feels pretty good so far didn't really get too far into like if you can hear footsteps or something like that stuff that we as cod players have issues with all the time i love the fact that there was infinite ammo realism with this it's not necessary you'll find that of course a lot of this is not realistic the entire game's universe is a game show where we are contestants fighting for fame and glory so yes this isn't super realistic, but as someone who can spray with my AKM and other weapons, 
I like having no limit on the ammo that I can use. Now, that said, there's a lot of cool things that I really enjoyed, but let's talk about some cons because rightfully so, there are a handful that definitely need to be addressed. Firstly, there is a lot of bugs. Naturally, it's a beta, so that's going to happen, but there's some stuff that really is detrimental to the gameplay experience. The one that I've seen plenty of times on their Reddit and their Discord, but one that also happened to me that really killed the gameplay experience from when this happened to basically the rest of the time trying to get footage is that there's a bug that no joke gives the player zero hit reg, zero bullet damage. And it's something that's just the server is like, all right, we're not actually going to fire your weapons. So as you'll see in this clip, I mean, I'm unloading into a player right behind them and not a single one of those barrel stuff to their back did any damage. Obviously that impedes on the gameplay stuff like that is going to get fixed out, but it's just unfortunate that we have to see that in the first place. Inputs definitely feel like they have a delay to them. It seems like a 100 millisecond delay or something on a mouse and keyboard input. Didn't play on controller. I can only imagine that's a little bit worse though at that point. Respawn delays I think are a little bit too long for my taste, especially if you're down, then your team could get wiped and that resets the entire timer. So then you have to wait even longer. One of the big things I think is that I think there needs to be a bit more fundamentally speaking than just this one game mode. I think it's really cool right now, but I definitely think that the boredom factor will set in quickly if there isn't more gameplay loop for players to play a different way than just simply trying to collect cash and extract. Especially with this being free to play, I definitely think that it's something you can reel the players in, but can you keep them in that regard? Another thing that was problematic is that it doesn't seem like there's a way to enable any push to talk unless I'm blind. So you're relying on in game pings. And if you need to communicate with random teammates, that's not always the best way to do so. It's not the most effective. And so hopefully we can see that implemented. Muzzle flash is kind of wild in this game, especially in darker environments or if you're playing on a night cycle. So that's something you'll definitely notice. Some weaponry feels like it needs a bit of work. I mean, that's to be expected. It's a closed beta. They just recently had their alpha. So there's definitely work to be done before the ship to a full launch version of the game. But for things that I noticed, the big one to me is that I love the feel of the AKM or the AK comparison in this game, but with only 30 rounds of ammo to work with, the current TTK, it takes about a whole mag to secure a kill with. I don't necessarily want a TTK adjustment. I think that that does reward more accurate shots and of course outplay maneuvers, but I do think that we could use a little bit more ammo in that like a 45 or 60 round mag on the AK just so I can take an engagement or maybe two. There are a few times where I got stuck in a 2v1 and I was just hopeless because you can't win both of those gunfights with two people shooting at you with that 30 rounds. So that's one thing that I'd like to see adjusted. Maybe it's just me nitpicking. Some other settings I feel are kind of useless or without purpose when we go on to the next thing. You can't bind certain things from what I've seen. Full screen doesn't actually lock you to full screen if you have a multi-monitor setup and things of that nature. So binds could be a bit of game breaking thing. The full screen and some other stuff, not so much, but still things that I would chalk up as needing to be fixed. And one thing that's just me being nitpicky is that you have an assigned ID when you log in here to this. It's independent of your Steam ID and I don't think that you can change it at the moment unless I'm missing something. So you could be getting an invite from one of your best friends, but not realize that it's them because it's an entirely different and randomized in-game ID. So that's something to consider. But that said, pros and cons out of the way, some stuff that I would actually say to round this out that I'm a little bit impressed with at a closed beta state is that we are seeing right up front, easy anti-cheat in closed beta testing. So that should hopefully deter those that could be coming into the game cheating. Free to play obviously is always something that's riddled with cheaters out there. But fingers crossed, the anti-cheat does a good job in keeping players out. There is a battle pass in cosmetics in a closed beta. That's something that, good or bad, I was just kind of surprised to see that this was included with that. The themes of the cosmetics and stuff are definitely wild, wacky, but definitely fun. So far, there is no way to buy cosmetics here with real money. I would imagine that changes given that it's a free-to-play game or going to be a free-to-play game. But right now, you earn credits through the battle pass and your overall ranking progression, all of which is done organically. Some items that you can get from the cosmetics, the shop, the battle pass, some of those will carry over into the full game and the launch there of it. They're labeled as permanent items. The other stuff just seems to be like a preview of the designs we'll see come the full game. Customization options are also taken to a whole new level here at this. There's individual items earnable and purchasable with your in-game currency, but you have a ton of things that you can use to make your operator unique. And you can mix and match stuff, so it's not like Call of Duty bundles where you just have one operator skin to work with and that's it. You can't change, say, the mask or anything like that or the boots. You can do all of that here in this, which is pretty cool. Additionally, some other stuff that impressed me was there's already career profile stats, again, rewarding you along the way the more you play. And a small but impressive attention to detail component is 
these daily contracts and challenges already in place. So giving you something to work towards if you're a completionist, even in a beta that at the end of the day doesn't necessarily mean anything, but it helps you out along that way. So that said, what's my overall thoughts? As far as fun factor, this mode definitely has it. It's a nice break in monotony for what we may be used to in regards to the FPS genre here in the last couple of years. Can it compete and become a mainstay in the FPS genre? I think it has the potential, but like I said, it has to clear a few more hurdles. The free to play nature will absolutely bring players in to try it out, but will the game keep them? That's the biggest question. I personally think that expanding to a few more modes beyond just the extraction style in the closed beta can do that, offering more ways to play even further, but that may just be a bit of bias on my end. No doubt the game has issues that needs to be overcome, but admittedly this was a breath of fresh air here for me in the shooter genre, and it's something that I think that you should check out if you have the opportunity to do so. For now, I'm going to jump back into it and get my bearings about me a bit more, maybe make some more content here on that, but let me know your thoughts down below on what you think of the game, either out of what you've seen in this video, other videos, or if you tried it out for yourself. But that's what we're going to call it. So if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. And of course, our normal Call of Duty content. But just want to take a little bit of a break, dip the toes in the water elsewhere for other content and other games to see how it goes. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace.